guys, I'm Alexa. I'm here with Coco today to show you guys how to do a very simple glowing skin look using Hourglass products. We're going to start with the strobing. Um, right now, it's a big trend and um, I'm going to be using the Brilliant Strobe Light with their super cute sponge, which is perfect for this look. I like to put the product where the, na the light will naturally hit, which is usually the C area here. So this product is great. You can use it wet or dry. We're going to use it dry today because we want it to be a little more natural. And this is great for getting the product into just under the arch of the eyebrow and just on the highlight, uh, just on the high parts of the cheekbone. And the opposite side is great for blending, so you don't get that harsh line. Usually I will put some right down the center of the nose bridge to bring it out a little bit. Start on the forehead and just go drag it down. And again, blend with the sponge. Bit on the chin, Cupid's bow, that super cute pout. And actually, this product is really good because you can actually use it on the inside corners of the eyes to just highlight that area as well. Okay, moving on, we're going to use a bronze or radiant bronze light. It um, it works really well with the hourglass powder brush as well. So. What I like to do is just dip the product in, shake off the excess, and feel around for a cheekbone. And you want to go just underneath the cheekbone to really bring out the top. And of course, you want this to look natural. So where does the sun normally hit? Normally the sun will hit around on the forehead, so light dusting there, across the nose bridge, to make it look like she's, you know, had a whole day of uh, sipping cocktails by the pool. And to finish, I like to add a bit of color. So for color today, we're going to use Mood Exposure. It's a really lovely natural rose color and it works great with the brush as well. So again, dip the product in, shake off a bit of the excess. Again, I like to start kind of in the back and work forward. But this time, if you notice, the brush is hitting the top of the cheekbones rather than underneath. And there you have it. Oh. 